Good morning everyone. I Vidya Sagar welcome you all in the e-learning class of Modern International School in Sua. I am going to start subject history of standard 8 and this is my 6th video lecture on this topic ruling the countryside. Now my topic is the blue rebellion and after. Dear students, as I have told you the peasants who were doing the cultivation of the rice, their current situation was not better but still as the two types of cultivation which was going on that was first the niche cultivation second was the by the right system so here the both of the system that were they were the not beneficial for the peasants it was somehow the only uh, profitable for the planters so they all the during 1857 you know the uh, rebel which was happened by the soldiers and subsequently in 1859 the indigo revolution which was being taken place by the raids and the thousand of raids they were just being refused to do the indigo cultivation and the women's they were also included in the rebel as they were you know, took up their household things and they were all came along with the riots and they were supported it as the latials the person who used to take charge those latials and those, those gomastas who used to who were being the agent of the planters they used to collect the taxes they all were beaten up and they were uh, being refused to do the indigo cultivation it means the a cows a chaos situation was observed there and finally a critical situation which was developed subsequently after the 1857 and this was the 1859 by the indigo rebellions in front of the british then whether you are thinking that uh, how they got the power to just rebel among them it was only because of the as the riots they were thinking that uh, the jamindars as well as the and village headmans those who used to contract the riots they were always were in support of the riots as they were also harshly treated by the british and the jamindars they were watching that the planters they used to the pressurize them and uh, under the pressure they used to uh, take the lands from the jamindars wherever the village headmans they also were watching that they were being forced to sign a contract which was under which the riots were very impatiently as the British who was watching that uh, this indigo revolution could be more drastic whenever it could not be controlled at a particular time. Then during the 1859 a uh, commission which was set out for the um, supervision of indigo revolution that commission was the indigo commission which was set up during 1859 and and a, a magistrate whose name was the Ashley Eden he was appointed for the commission and in Barasat which is located in West Bengal there he has noticed that the uh, indigo production for the rates was not profitable then they just issued the notice that anyone could not compel the riots for uh, doing the indigo cultivation so they were uh, issued the notice and this message was uh, just uh, in front of the riots that the british is also supporting them and thus they were um, increased their revolution in a drastic moment as the planters they were being the part of the british there for the saving of them the british issued the army for shape them and the armies they were saving the planters as 
द सम ऑफ द इंटेलेक्चुअल पर्सनस इट मीन्स दोज हु वेर द एडुकेटेड पीपल्स दे मूव टूवर्ड द डिफरेंट डिस्ट्रिक ऑफ द वेस्ट बंगाल एंड फर्दर्स दे मूवमेंट वेर द इंडिगो डिस्ट्रिक वॉज देयर एंड दे रिटेन द मेजरी of the rayas the tyranny of the planters and the horror of the indigo system because once anyone could get in the trap of the indigo it used to be there still for a long time at the rebellion they were in a drastic mood that's the government it brought the military for pro- protection of the indigo planters and thus the the commission which found that the indigo planters they were the guilty so the indigo planters uh, they were issued that you have committed the mistakes and from uh, next time you could not be compel any of the rayas to do the indigo plantation and that's it was happened to them and it was declared that indigo production was not profitable for the rayats and the commission told that you have to fulfill this year and from next time you could not be compelled to do the production as the commission was set up then one of the indigo cultivator whose name was hadji mulla the he was inquired by sri sale one of the member of indigo commission he told that would you like to uh, show the indigo plants he was refused that no i could not do it then again he told that uh, you will get 1 uh, rupees per bundle then he told that i would rather like to go in another country rather than showing the indigo plants or i would beg it would be better for me than um, doing the indigo cultivation this was the uh one of the uh true evidence which comes out by the commission and they found that uh, neither any place was there from which the indigo cultivators they could get the profit wherever uh, indigo production was there then the production then it was collapsed it means the production edge they have rebuilt the rails they have been rebuilt the production went down and the planters they were moving here and there in search because they have already seen the profits what was the profit which could made by the indigo cultivation and that's why they were moving toward the uh, western part in in the bihar they were moving toward the west part and they have moved toward the bihar and during the bihar they were also doing the indigo cultivation but one of the peasants whose name was rajkumar sukla who was from the west champaran and he urged to the mahatma gandhi mahatma gandhi who returned from the south africa in 1915 and his first revolution of the non violence satyagraha it was started by the champaran satyagraha so we can also tell told it here that the first satyagraha movement it was started by the gandhi ji was from champaran and it was took place in 1917 and the mahatma gandhi returned from the south africa in 1915 then by the rajkumar sukla who uh, urged to the mahatma gandhi that how it could be stopped because as from bengal it comes to the bihar and as the peoples they were being depressed and they were they, they have lot of problems still they were facing this type of problem which were newly to them and that's why mahatma gandhi who watch the one of the great leader and taken the help of truth and non violence which leads to succeed in this way okay dear students here we can also say that indigo making in the west indies here we'll see that the, during the 18th century a french missionary jean baptiste lavat 
ट्रेवल टू द कैरेबियंस आईलैंड इट मीन्स दोज वेस्ट इंडीज प्लेसेज इट इज वेल नोन एज कैरेबियंस आईलैंड एंड देयर दे हैव ऑल्सो सीन दैट हाउ द द इंडिगो प्लांटेशन वॉज डन एच देयर द सेम काइंड इट मीन्स एज इट वॉज हैपनिंग इन इंडिया दैट दोज प्लांटर्स दे यूज टू कट इट एंड फर दैट इट वॉज द लीव्स इट वॉज थ्रोन इन द वर्थ्स which was the hollow square shape where the boiled water used to be there and one by one lowered part of the wurz which was there and further it was done in a proper way as it was done in the india and the same is is given here that as the peoples as the planters they used to suppress the peasants there they in the west indies the those peoples those planters they you should also suppress the laborers who were indulged in the indigo cultivation okay dear students read the paragraph and keep watching thank you